Let's get right into it. Number 10. Scented Candles and Air Fresheners That lovely scent from your favorite candle is actually particles of burning petroleum. Most scented candles are made from paraffin wax, which is basically fossil fuel leftovers. When you light that candle, you're running a tiny toxic waste incinerator in your living room. It's pumping out chemicals like benzene and toluene, the same stuff found in car exhaust. And those plug-in air fresheners aren't any better. They're constantly releasing synthetic fragrances loaded with phthalates. These chemicals are so nasty that some countries have banned them from children's toys. But somehow, it's totally fine to spray them directly into your lungs. That clean linen scent is actually tricking your brain into ignoring the warning signs. It's like a serial killer wearing a clown costume. Sure, it looks fun, but it's still trying to kill you. These chemicals build up in your body over time. You're slowly marinating your organs in toxic soup. Number 9. Dryer Sheets You know that soft, fresh-smelling sheet in your dryer? Well, it's basically a chemical warfare agent disguised as laundry help. Each time you use one, you coat your clothes with harmful chemicals. These sheets work by leaving an invisible film on everything they touch. That fresh laundry smell is actually benzyl acetate and benzyl alcohol cooking into your clothes. These are the same chemicals found in paint thinners and antifreeze. Your dryer becomes a chemical gas chamber when these sheets heat up. The toxins become airborne, so you're not just wearing them, you're breathing them too. These sheets leave a waxy film inside your dryer made from animal fat. This residue builds up over time, like cholesterol in arteries. While you're trying to make your clothes smell nice, you might accidentally turn your house into a fire hazard. The chemicals also clog up the special sweat-wicking fabric in your expensive gym wear. Number 8. Plastic Shower Curtains That weird new shower curtain smell when you first hang one up is actually toxic chemicals slowly cooking off into your bathroom air. These aren't just any chemicals. We're talking about VOCs that come from the PVC plastic. When you take a hot, steamy shower, all that heat and moisture turn your bathroom into a biohazard nightmare. The steam makes the curtain release more of these chemicals than usual. As you're breathing heavily from the hot water, you're inhaling more of these gases than usual. Every time you shower, you're breathing in a cocktail of toxins that can mess with your lungs, give you headaches, and damage your nervous system. Manufacturers know about this. They keep adding these chemicals because they make the curtains more flexible and cheaper to produce. Some doctors are now linking these chemicals to certain types of cancer. Number 7. Reusable Water Bottles The water bottle you carry with you everywhere is essentially like a portable Petri dish. With every sip you take, you're not just drinking water. You're getting a mouthful of microscopic roommates. Those tiny grooves and scratches in your bottle are like five-star hotels for germs. Studies show reusable bottles can harbor more bacteria than your toilet seat. Those fancy straw lids are even worse. The straws are like dark, damp tunnels where bacteria go to multiply. There is a bacteria breeding program taking place right under your nose. That metallic taste isn't just the steel. It's the taste of a thriving bacterial civilization. Every sip is like a microscopic mosh pit in your mouth. Even if you wash your bottle regularly, those scratches and plastic bottles release microplastics into your drink. Number 6. Your Daily Tea Bag that relaxing cup of tea you're drinking right now is quietly pouring billions of tiny plastic particles into your system with every sip. Scientists found that a single tea bag releases over 11 billion microplastic particles into your drink. It's like having a microscopic plastic confetti party in your mouth. Those fancy, silky pyramid tea bags are the worst offenders. They're not made of silk at all, they're made from plastic mesh that breaks down in hot water. You are basically steeping your tea in a melting shopping bag. Many tea bags are sealed with glue containing epichlorohydrin, a chemical that messes with your hormones. Some even have traces of BPA and phthalates. But somehow it's fine to steep them directly into your morning cuppa. The companies are aware of this, but they continue to produce plastic tea bags since they are less expensive to produce than paper ones. Your cozy bedtime chamomile is secretly filling your gut with plastic bits. These particles are so small, they can slip right into your bloodstream. Number 5. Thermal Paper Receipts Every time you grab a receipt, you're holding a tiny chemical weapon. These aren't printed with regular ink. They're coated with chemicals that react to heat. That smooth, shiny surface is loaded with BPA or its evil cousin BPS. When you touch a receipt, these chemicals transfer straight to your skin. And if you've got hand sanitizer or lotion on, you're absorbing up to 100 times more of these toxins. Cashiers who handle these things all day are basically giving themselves a chemical bath for minimum wage. It's like playing Russian roulette with your endocrine system. 
These chemicals don't just sit there on the paper. They transfer to everything you touch. Your food, your face, your kids' toys. That receipt you tossed on your kitchen counter just turned your food prep area into a hormone-disrupting playground. Companies switched from BPA to BPS claiming it was safer. That's like replacing your serial killer roommate with their equally murderous twin. Each time you get coffee, buy lunch, or go grocery shopping, you're collecting more of these invisible toxins, and they stay in your body way longer than that burger you just bought. Number 4. Microwave Popcorn Bags That innocent-looking popcorn bag is actually a chemical bomb waiting to explode in your microwave. The bags are lined with chemicals called PFAs that help keep the oil from soaking through. These aren't just any chemicals. They're called forever chemicals because they never break down. They'll still be around when your great-grandkids are watching whatever replaces TikTok. When you hit that popcorn button, these chemicals start cooking off into your food. The heat makes them leach straight into those buttery kernels you're about to inhale. It's like seasoning your food with industrial waste. That amazing smell filling your kitchen used to come from a chemical called diacetyl. It was so toxic it gave factory workers popcorn lung, a rare but serious breathing condition. Workers were literally destroying their lungs by breathing in butter-flavored air all day. The companies changed the formula after that PR nightmare, but they just replaced one sketchy chemical with another. These chemicals build up in your body over time. Your body is like a human landfill collecting these toxins with every bag you pop. Number 3. The Blender Gasket You know that rubber ring in your blender? Well, it's secretly hosting a microscopic horror show. Every time you make a smoothie, you're adding a cocktail of bacteria and mold. The gasket, that rubber seal between your blender jar and base, is basically a five-star resort for germs. Those tiny cracks in the rubber are like luxury condos for bacteria. That weird smell when you open your blender isn't just old smoothie. It's millions of bacteria having an all-you-can-eat buffet. The rubber seal is slowly breaking down every time you blend. The high-speed spinning and heat are cooking tiny bits of rubber into your morning protein shake. It's like having a tire slowly dissolve into your drink. Number 2. Q-Tips Every box literally says, do not insert into ear canal, right on it. But we all ignore that warning. Your ears are actually self-cleaning. They're like tiny automatic car washes for your head. The wax naturally moves outward, carrying dirt and dead skin cells with it. When you jam a Q-tip in there, you're messing up this whole system. It's like trying to clean your house by shoving everything under the bed. Doctors have seen people who've punctured their eardrums with these things. One woman was cleaning her ears while brushing her teeth. She got startled jerked her arm, and needed emergency surgery. Another guy managed to get a piece of cotton stuck in his ear for years. It grew mold in there. The more you use them, the itchier your ears get. So you use them more. It's like scratching a mosquito bite. It makes everything worse. Number 1. Flame Retardant Chemicals Pretty much everything in your house is coated in flame retardant chemicals. Your couch, your carpet, your electronics, even your kid's car seat. These chemicals don't just sit there quietly doing their job. They're like tiny escape artists, constantly breaking free and mixing with your house dust. It's like having a toxic roommate who sheds everywhere. Every time you sit on your couch, tiny chemical particles puff into the air like microscopic toxic confetti. These chemicals are basically immortal. They don't break down like normal stuff. Kids get the worst of it. They're crawling around on the floor, putting everything in their mouths. They're basically vacuum cleaning these chemicals right into their systems. Scientists have found these chemicals in newborn babies. Basically, these chemicals are crossing the placenta and getting to babies before they're even born. The companies say these chemicals save lives by preventing fires. But most furniture fires start from cigarettes. And we already have fire-safe cigarettes now. So we're poisoning ourselves to solve a problem that doesn't exist anymore. Also, when there is a fire, these chemicals can actually make the smoke even more toxic. If you see TB117 on your furniture label, that means it's packed with flame retardants. But unless you want to live in a house made of metal, sitting on metal chairs, wearing a tin foil suit, you're pretty much stuck with them. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.